brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. Life is full of strength and strife. You lose a love or leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. But we're brothers. I distinctly asked to be seated in the no smoking. Sir, no one is smoking around you. That is not the point, madam. This is an ashtray. <laughs> now it's a nut dish. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Kelly, could I please have a meatball sandwich? Didn't Flow pack a lunch for you? Yeah, but I can't eat that. <laughs> Last time I saw something like that, it was coming through John Hurt's chest. <laughs> I'll get you a sandwich. Oh, and uh, bring something for my friend in the box. <laughs> Lou, did you see this? Aunt Katie sent me a picture of her 10th grandchild. Cute, huh? Yeah. Did that say it was something I could never figure out? What's that? Why they all look the same. Them fat little cheeks and wrinkled up skin. Oh, all new babies look like that. She's talking about our aunt. <laughs> they all look like Mahalia Gandhi. <laughs> you know, Lou, I've been thinking. When my Penny and your daughters get married, they're gonna change their name. Hey, that's okay. To be honest with you, I never liked the name Penny. <laughs> I mean their last name. The point is, Lou, now that your son's in the seminary, the water's name is gonna die. We are the last of the line. He's always Cliffy. Cliff's gay. Well, maybe he'll marry a gay broad. <laughs> One of them thesbians. Oh, Cliffy, can I talk to you about something? I want to ask you a very important question. Sure. Joe says you're letting the family down by being a flit. <laughs> I was just saying that the water's name is going to die out. Oh, and that's my fault. I'll tell you this. Maybe if you were to marry and you were to have a son... Wait a yeah. minute, wait a minute. I'm... Well, you didn't exactly bang out the boys, Rambo. Whoa. <laughs> You're questioning my masculinity. Wait a minute! <laughs> yeah? What? <laughs> you just yelled, wait a minute. Why? <laughs> because Joe and I have been discussing the great water's name and my being gay. And how pig-headed a certain brother can be. Pig-headed, you're calling me yeah, pig-headed. Hey, you stop. Just stop it right now here. For land's sake, we're brothers. We can't have none of this fighting going on. We're fruit of the same loom. <laughs> Donald, I was just about to tell Maxwell how I scored in the last two minutes in San Francisco. I usually score in the first two minutes in San Francisco. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> Don't apologize. I'm having a wonderful time. I see you two know each other. Oh, of course. Maxwell's an old friend and a terrific publisher. I'm just one of those fortunate souls with an ear for good stories. Oh, that's pretty impressive. So are you. Did you ever think of putting some of your stories down on paper? Maxwell, I don't know. Uh... Try it. Show me a couple of chapters. If I like it, I'll arrange for an advance. 
Joe likes it. He loves it. He'll be at my house at 10 tomorrow. Works for me. Terrific. Oh, great. Well, now, come on, Maxwell. I want you to meet that new author I'm editing. He's very talented. Oh, just don't say anything about the nun's habit. <laughs> It's like a gift from the gods. Donald's friend, Maxwell, wants to publish my memoirs. You're kidding! With this face, kid. <laughs> and here I thought the name Waters would be forgotten. Like Rula Lenska. <laughs> now, now we're all gonna be immortal. You gonna put me in your book? Hey, you're my brother. Well, you are proud of me, huh? You, Joe, yesterday you made me feel like you were ashamed. Go on, you knucklehead. <laughs> Are you uh, gonna mention that I'm gay? Go on, you knucklehead. <laughs> Joe, are you gonna mention that I'm gay? How about if I just say you're perky? <laughs> no. Being gay is part of what I am. Cliff, I want you to be in my book. I just want the water's name to live on. This book has to have broad appeal. Yeah, and I'm sure you're going to make it appeal to broads. <laughs> Look, Joe, I don't want to be in your book. Just leave me the hell out. Well, let's see. I think we have everything. Um... Testing, one, two, testing, testing. <laughs> I left my heart in San Francisco. <laughs> High on a hill, it calls to me to be with tabletop climb halfway to the stars the morning fog may chill the air Brrr, oh i don't care my love waits there in san francisco above the blue and windy You have to use the full range of the voice that's testing things. <laughs> Are you ready, Mr. Bennett? What's in the bag? I got beer pretzel. Great, let's polka. <laughs> oh, hey. I got some beer in there. Will that hurt it? No, nah, give it a little more, then we'll dance with it. <laughs> I'm riding with one of the Schmengi brothers. Hey, Donald, come on. I figured this is going to be simple and fun. I tell you a few stories, you write them up nice, bang, next thing you know, we're condensed and read his digest. All my dreams come true. <laughs> exactly. Now, here's a story. Fear reminded me of it. Joe, we should start with an introduction. Okay, hi, I'm Joe. Now, it was a nice... Oh, book! <laughs> I thought it would go something like this. The sun was setting between the goalposts. <laughs> goalposts, you like that, huh? <laughs> like a mocking smile, daring Joe the Toe to put the football in its teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the smallest warrior in a battered Scruffy uniform, charged hold it, on... Hold it, hold it, hold it. I was never scruffy. Fine. A very neat little man... <laughs> ...charging onto the field. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never charged. Never? No. To me, the field was a sacred place. And I approached it with that attitude. Neat? Yes. Sacred attitude? Always. Fine. Onto the field trotted Pope John Paul II. All right, all right, okay. Okay. Get up. I am not one of your tramps. 
hey, I can do this. No problem now. I'll just type it up and you fix it later. <sighs> Joe. Yo. What? Aren't you gonna put paper in? <laughs> sure, paper, paper. Whoops, holes on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work. I can't work. It's like watching a monkey try to mate with a computer. <laughs> okay. All right, you can type it up. If you write exactly what I say. And what do we do for our English-speaking audience? <laughs> okay, that's it. I don't need you. No, Joe, you don't. You don't need anybody, because all you want to do is wave the flag for Joe the Toe. Well, you may know your story, but before you sit down to write again, you'd better ask yourself why. Go on, talk. Talk. Words, Donald. That's all it is, is words. Well, I don't need words. I... I'm a writer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there goes that book. Hey, Joe? You still going through with the book? Sure, why not? Well, I thought after the falling out you had with Donald, maybe. But look how much I did without him. I finished the outline and even wrote some chapters. No kidding. Can I uh, read it? Sure. Here's my outline. Tell me what you think. Joe's outline. One, Joe's childhood. Two, Joe's growing up. Three, Joe the grown-up. The end. <laughs> hey, look out, Gore Vidal. Well. Tell me, uh, in your writing, did you mention the words... Ravishing beauty anywhere? No. Okay, did you mention me or what? Sure. Here. Killer Haddock washes feet? <laughs> That's Kelly Hall works for me. Gee, <clears throat> your penmanship is rotten. You aren't finished with it yet, are you? Nah. I was going to mention the night I wooed and won you. We were drunk, and you slept with your socks on, and if you write about that night, you can kiss Killer Haddock goodbye. <laughs> hey, Joe, you finished your book yet? I just started. Good. So you didn't get to the pictures yet? What pictures? Well, you know how in all them books about famous people, they always have pictures of them when they look stupid. I don't know. Here's one of you in your Nehru jacket. Ma cried that night, Joe. Forget it. There's not going to be any pictures. Then I ain't going to read the book. Hi, everybody. Hey, Dad O'Mine. Hi, Penny. Here. I, uh, I took the liberty of typing up some of my childhood recollections. Um, I call it Penny's Childhood Recollections. <laughs> I thought it might come in handy for your book. I'm sorry, but, but, but I finished your part. Can I see it? Sure. She was a tin Lizzie Boodle from Heathrow who deranged my wife. She was a tiny little bundle from heaven who changed my life. Tiny little bundle? That made me sound like an asteroid. <laughs> Penny, I was just trying to say how I feel about you. About the family. This is my last chance to keep the water's name alive. Oh, I get the message. I'm just a girl. I don't count. Well, don't feel bad, Penny. I can't spell. <laughs> well, you write your book, Daddy. I'm, I'm sure it'll make you feel better about having a tiny little bundle instead of a son. Oh. 
Penny. What did I say? It's what you didn't say. Well, I see the poison pen struck again. Look, you want it out of the book, you're out of the book. No, what I want, Joe, is for you to tell the truth. I'm gay, and if you're gonna write about me, you have to write that. I don't have to write anything. This is my book. I can say whatever I want. You think you write a better book about the Waters family? Why don't you try? Fine, I will. Fine. Hey, Flippy, want to use some pictures of Joe looking stupid? <laughs> It all started on my wedding day. When Cliff told me on his wedding day that he was gay and couldn't go through with it, I said to myself, be calm, be understanding. And I wanted to hug him. When I finally broke the chokehold, <laughs> I repeated that I was gay. I was aware, of course, that Cliff had some sort of problem. And I'd only wished he'd come to me before. I tried to tell Joe for a year. <laughs> But he usually had his face buried in some girl's clavicle. <laughs> but I wasn't shocked. He was stunned. I offered compassion. He ate my book near. <laughs> I was probably more receptive than he thought. He's still docking me for the cost of the ice sculpture. <laughs> cost me a great deal emotionally. And looking back, I only wish he'd been more honest with me. He couldn't take the truth. I think that's what hurt the most. He didn't trust me enough to tell me sooner. The liar, the dunce, your jock, gay, grim, homo. <laughs> creep, creep. <laughs> what am I doing? What in the hell am I doing? Where's who? Richard Gere. <laughs> you called and you told me Richard Gere was going to be here. I lied. <laughs> so where is he? Where's who? Mickey Mantle. You called and told me Mickey Mantle was here. <laughs> I lied. Oh, well, it all began with just one little dance. But soon it ended up a big romance. Blame it on the bossy Nova. The dance of love. Where is he? Where's who? The ambassador to the court of St. James. <laughs> you said, you said the ambassador to the court of St. James was here looking to learn the bossa nova. You lied. I knew that. <laughs> I knew he was lying. As Bette Midler once said, you can fool some of the homos all of the time. You can fool all of the homos some of the time, but you can't fool all of the homos all of the time. <laughs> Sorry I had to trick you all into coming down here. Except Donald. I like tricking him, because he always winds up doing something stupid, and I like that. <laughs> Lou, just get to the point. Jojo! Hi. <laughs> I guess you're all wondering why I got you here today. <laughs> well, it's not what you think it is. Neither was the book. I know, I know. That's why you're here. So I can tell you all. I'm sorry. See? There I was, middle of the night, when finally I reached the words, the end. And then it hits me. This is what I'm afraid of? The end? The end of what? The end of the water's name? It isn't the name that's important. It's the stuff we feel every day that counts. The things we share with our children, who we love just as much whether they are boys or girls. Young ladies. And with our friends. And with our brothers. Whether they're straight or gay. Oh, Joe. How 
can you speak such beautiful words and yet write things like I kick the ball, it go? Hey, I talk better than I write. So I guess we shouldn't expect another book. <clears throat> well, I heard from Maxwell today, and this is what he thought of my first draft. <laughs> he said I should set fire to it. But there are other publishers. Yeah.